Hello and welcome to this amazing Phantom Arts video tutorial. This first episode I'm gonna tell you how to make a template for all that's going to happen to your website. Um, I'm using Photoshop CS4 and I'm using the web layout but this tutorial should work for CS3 and all the other versions. Actually it does work there's nothing com complicated happening uh, but those of you PS4 users I am using the web layout and what I have done is added the history tab which you can add from window and history and then and then drag it into this console uh, what we're gonna create is this template so, but before we start, I'm gonna show you what you're gonna have to do during your work. This is the actual Phantom Arts template on our website. Uh, wh what I do when I make complicated sites or titles, I use rulers. Um, yeah. When you press Ctrl R, you'll have these rulers over here, and you can drag these guidelines and stuff out of them. Control R is the shortcut key for this. Now what I do also is organize my files, so layers I mean. So for example everything about this header part is in this header folder as you can see. Uh, and uh, if I hide this everything in that folder hides. Uh, you can have subfolders like I have here, menu and menu writings. Menu writings are these blanks here. Uh, and if you collapse the menu, menu box and hide this, every single menu item disappears. So you see, that's why you should use folders. How to create a folder? That's really easy. Just press press this create a new group double click on the header and and write whatever you want just right so first off let's start making our actual template well this is what we're gonna create uh, every single image that I had downloaded from Google I have a link in the description zone Actually, there are two images. One is this logo, and one is this splash. We're gonna go over how to create them. So, first, let's create a new image. It's gonna be a uh, crad. It's gonna be 850 times 790 pixels. Um, when creating it, I recommend you use transparent background. And the RGB color mode, not grayscale, not anything else. Uh, resolution, well, if you're an advanced user and you know what you're doing, you might change that. I don't even touch that. And, well, this advanced stuff you should also leave alone. Preset custom, here is the width, here's the height. Now, I'll just go ahead and hide everything. Now, first, Shift and F5. This will bring in our fill, and we'll just start off with filling the background with black. And as you can see, that worked. Now I actually didn't start off there, but I recommend you do. Now let's create our banner. For now, grab the rectangular marker tool and just drag a box of the size you wanna make your banner. Let me just delete everything. First off, ah fuck, screwed here a bit. Now, uh, as you see, mm, oh fuck. Well, I can. I made this banner. I made a gradient, 
I don't think I have the custom gradient anymore. But, well, let's do the same thing. Just uh, foreground color, pick a lighter red, but don't pick the bright, bright red. Something over here. And for this background color, something darker. Now, uh, oh, I failed. And make sure you have this gradient selected. And now, holding shift, drag this. Maybe I should increase this darkness a bit. Oh, that failed. Yeah, this is what I have in mind. Now, I already deselected it. It's Ctrl D, but I have to reselect it. So hold down Ctrl and click on your little thumbnail here. Now, as you might have noticed, there was a splash on image on here. So let's bring on this new splash image. Uh, banner splash. It opened up as a new layer. If you drag it onto your Photoshop, you may use Bridge. I actually use Bridge a lot, but this time I have one folder, everything is in it. I like to use folders. Now, depending on how you do things, I just make it a layer, copy it onto the file, and then use free transform, just make it wide enough, maybe a tad smaller, and now already change it to overlay and now you can see it just fitting in here Excellent. now we have our banner done see how easy that was and press enter now this is the banner done okay now let's create our content area oh let's folder these up Okay, body, go back to your body, create a new layer. Hitting D, I can get these to black and white. And you select the color of 3333. Three, 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 three. Or 63s, I don't know if I actually said 63s. And make a rectangular shape again. Leave a little gap here, but not big, maybe even smaller. Something like that. Actually, move our banner tad up. 